you're just listening and uh, you've never been here, my transmitter cut out. Hmm, interesting. Um, am I getting through uh, WA7ABU? You copy? I copy fine. Yeah. Did you hear my transmitter cut out, or was that me just uh, imagining something? Um, all I heard is you uh, uh, stopping your transmit like normal. I uh, didn't hear anything unusual there. W7 ABU. All right, very good. We'll assume everything is everything. Okay, so again, if you've never been around these parts, uh, Tuesdays we have an emergency preparedness net, which is great. Wednesday, like Dan said, all right, so Dan, did I cut out that time? Yes, you did. Uh, what's going on? I'm not really sure. Um, I, I'm getting a beep beep on my transmitter, and then um, it stops transmitting. But as soon as I hit the key, it comes right back. All right, let me try something here. I'm going to switch to the second radio. Okay, let's see if this is any better. All right, and then... Uh, Oh, that's just too weird. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to. Dan, this is not going to work. Um, I'm not really sure what's happening here. Uh, Alpha Call 7, Quebec Hotel. Um. Uh, the station with the hotel? Yeah, EG7QH. Um, check your power supply connection for whatever toll volts you're running to the radios. I'm assuming you're not on a handheld. Uh, it acts like you're getting a power drop on your and dropping voltage and dropping out from that, especially if they're sharing a power supply. EG7QH. Okay, copy that. So, okay, so I'm looking at my, the meters on my. But the voltage on my power supply is staying constant. And uh, let me see if it continues to draw current. Uh, I'm still talking and it's still holding. Well, it seems to be working now. Interesting. Well, Yes, yeah, not the supply voltage you're going to see on the power supply. It's going to be the voltage drop if you've got a loose or slightly crowded connection. Uh, under the current draw, the voltage will drop and you'll drop out. AG7 QH. All right. Well, heck of a time to be troubleshooting this thing. I'm wiggling wires here and uh, not getting any change. And, and um, yeah, the current did drop to zero, but the, there was not the slightest change in voltage. Anyway, I'm going to keep my transmission short. Hopefully, I can get through this net. Uh, let me get a drip. Cut your power. That may uh, let you through there. k 0 Okay, excellent um, recommendation there. Um, how copy now? Seems okay. Just talk some more. K zero V Z. All right. So I didn't even go to medium power. I went to low power. But let me let me at least, at least kick it up to medium. Hold on. All right. This is K seven RPD for the five two nine Technet. 
great recommendation there, Peter, and I'll check you in. K0VIZ recommending I go to medium or low power. I'm on medium power now, and things seem to be holding. Yeah, I was just going to comment that I did not hear an appreciable difference between low power and medium power. <laughs> Okay, so I just switched to low power, which if I can believe my meter is uh, significantly less than medium power, but it's nice to hear I'm still getting through. So Paul, uh, have you noticed a difference this, this transmission? It might be slightly lower, but I can hear you just fine. CBC. Mike. Uh, Mike, CPC, go ahead. Yeah, you're full quieting, even on uh, low power. It's uh, and and your 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 five nine completely uh, understandable and and uh, uh, completely uh, strong enough to 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 hear. Um, I have. <laughs> I bought one of these silly little bowfangs, and one of these one day I was experimenting, and I, I I had it down to low power, and I forgot to put it back up to high power, and I've been checking into uh, th this net uh, for a long time, and I realized I was on low power, and uh, everybody's giving me these great signal reports. So uh, there you go, three watts, and and that's what uh, I got the great signal reports on. JCD. Well, I think part of it, Mike, is your vantage point there, up there on uh, the side of uh, Mount Scott. So um, th there's something to be said for, for altitude. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Mike. Uh, JCD, take it away. Yeah, I'm listening to you on my iPhone. I'm on Echolink. And I, I could definitely tell that there was more uh, white noise in the background on low power than there was on medium. K7JCD. KI7JAE. Uh, uh, thank you, John. And uh, Richard. Yeah, I run a scope on, on all the nets, and, and you do have uh, more white noise. Your audio is pretty much the same. Uh, on medium power as it is on low. Your modulation is pretty much the same. You just have a little more white noise, but you are plenty loud and clear on low if you want to keep it down on low. Okay, I appreciate that. Very good. Yeah, you know, one of the biggest things um, in the past, issues that I had that seemed to have gone away and... Um, and I'll tell you the only thing that's changed. So back in the day, before I put up a beam on uh, two meters, I had um, one of these diamond verticals. And, um, you know, really a nice vertical and all, but um, I did have issues with multipath. And so um, I switched to, uh, to a beam. And um, I still had a little bit of multipath, but it depended on what direction I pointed the antenna. Um, it, it still wasn't always, I, I wasn't always getting the best signal reports, and I felt kind of bad being a net control operator. But um, then I put up a six meter uh, Moxon antenna below my two meter antenna. Let me get a drip. AB7BS, repeater. Work this way. There's not that much of a, a distance between the two meter beam and the six meter antenna. I would say maybe uh, two feet, uh, maybe not even that. Maybe 18 inches, 24 inches, something like that. And uh, all of the multipath went away. And um, I've always gotten fairly good signal reports, even now on low power. So there you go. Um, I think some, something has changed, and I don't think it's been just the weather either. Alpha 
Terry, Junction City, go. Uh, that that dropout that you that you're experiencing is kind of reminiscent of what's going on here with my power line being so long. When I push the tune, uh, the foldback circuit will not allow me to to uh, tune certain uh, frequencies. So it could very well be that there's something that's causing causing it on the higher power to uh, pull pull out your your foldback circuit on on that uh, radio. And uh, I've really heard nothing different between the high or the low from from mine. But I got bad ears anyway. So. Back to Ned, Alpha Echo 7, Mike. From experience, check the inline fuses. Uh, guess what? Could be a problem. Oh, very, very funny. Yeah, that, you're right. It, 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 I guess it could be there, Dan. Um, uh, so this happened a number of months ago, I'd say several months ago, and um, it, it, it seemed like, and, and again, it was strictly from the gut, there was no real evidence to suggest that this was the problem, but the problem seemed to be on the output side of things. And uh, I had my bird, li my bird uh, meter in line with uh, the transmission line. I took it out of the circuit. And all of a sudden, it stopped dropping out. And so um, I suspected that the slug that I had, this two-meter slug, uh, was, was faulty. So I just left the bird out of the system. And it's been working fine for several months. But then all of a sudden, this dropout started this morning. So, But at least we know that a lower power will solve it. So that's a good thing. 